Previously on Air, Memories of Old. And why is everything scary all of a sudden? Uh oh, we're being attacked by a giant glowing V. And now, the continuation. Hello, everybody, this is Yellow Demon Hurler out. And welcome back to uh, Air. Uh, Dang it, I can't remember the rest of the title. Uh, when we last left off, we uh, ventured into um, Karaz Cave uh, to and saw a weird vision. She gave us a lant. Uh, it's all very confusing. Uh, but we were on a pilgrimage to visit the three temples uh, in a uh, shattered world for who knows what reason. We were just up there, reading a little bit about the history uh, from someone who was there uh, when the world was shattered. And now we're down here at the bottom, looking to see if there's anything else of interest on this island. Uh, and wondering why this bridge is made of grass. Uh, This island looks like a, down here looks like a pretty place, but not um, plot relevant. Hello, Ram. Unlike uh, your uh, female counterparts, you are apparently unafraid of me, okay? Maybe they're not afraid of me. Maybe, maybe girl Rams, uh, girl Rams, no, that's, that's ridiculous. There's no such thing. Um, girl sheep, use, use, that's the word. Uh, just don't like me. Okay, I see glowy things there, so let's fly over there. Maybe uh, visit these uh, this tiny little island. See if there's wind song fall. I missed. No, no. Take me back. And yes. Okay. And here we go, another another crane killed by those rocks. You know, these weird pillars of rock? They showed up when the cave collapsed, so... Uh, I wonder if a great, uh, great evil or great danger, however it was Kara put it, is uh, about to reawaken. So, ah! These will be the, those will be the falls falling into infinity. Uh... Don't ask me where they, uh... No, those are the falls up behind them. Don't ask me where all the water comes from. Maybe they... Maybe it's extracted from the atmosphere. Anything interesting over here? Tablets and things, perhaps? Okay, I see... I see runes. And based on the cave... We can see a memory of a person here. Two people. Probably, since there are two runes. But I can't figure out how to activate the lantern. So I guess let's keep traveling to the falls. Anything interesting down there? Actually, what happens if there's wind here? Does that matter? Ah, okay. Ah, fast travel wind, okay. Let's see. That looks like a shrine to something. So, it's glowing, so I'm guessing stand here? No. Uh, behold fish. A statue of a fish. There are no actual fish here. Hmm. I read that this game doesn't hold your hand very much. And I kind of suck at puzzles sometimes, so, uh... I guess we shall see. So... There are the falls. And... Over here... Another fish ruin, huh? Hmm. Did that activate when I got close? Well, it's reacting to my presence, certainly. But I 
I feel like the, I probably need to bring something here, so let's go to the falls. Maybe we'll see a rainbow, like, um, uh, I can't remember his name. What's his name? Said. Uh, ow. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Anything through here? No. Just a, a solid wall of water. Hmm. Okay, so two symbols. Uh, that symbol was over on that statue. In one of the... That one, I think. Wasn't it? So, this thing and an arrow. Are you sure there's nothing behind the waterfall? Huh. Interesting. So... Hmm. Okay, okay. I get where this is going. There is a secret passage. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna fall off of a waterfall. <laughs> uh, there is a secret passage back there. But I have to activate those runes to... Uh, to get there. Hmm. Okay. So... Mm-hmm. And that just goes around there. Anything down there? Just very shallow water. Which I suppose you shouldn't really expect deep water on a um on a floating island. Uh yeah, let's just go back up. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's go up here. Start at the bottom first, I guess. Ow! Cause this looks like a door, which is not opening. Hmm. Anything on the other side? Cracked pillar, broken pillar. Okay. Let's try the top. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Ow! No, no, don't transform now! Yeah, I'm not a very good flyer. There, now transform. I think I see something. Okay, so this is caved in, but... There's a scroll. I am Rhea, Yohal's daughter. I sought out his words to make sense of what happened to him during his journeys. My father's birth... I almost said my father because um, I've been reading Kelly the Roman Warrior lately. I may do a dramatic reading of that at some point. Uh, my father's burden lay heavy on his shoulders. Even though we found a new home, he was never the same again. There is hope, and more children have been born in this spring than the last. We will recover, but I think he worried about things yet to come. I think the sickness of black rocks, my father's sound, scared him more than anything else. It's only been seen once or twice again, however. Well, I'm seeing it, seeing it more than once or twice in the span of a few minutes. These islands we now wander are safe, not these ones. Kara is soon having a child of her own, and laughter has returned to her hearts. Okay. Interesting history, but that doesn't tell me how to um, activate the... Uh, what you call it? However, I think I see a fountain or something over here. Or is that just one of those bird things? Hmm. Birds. Spirit of a person. Okay. Alright. So north, north. So they said there was something northwest, right? The uh, lighthouse keepers. Let me just scoot around this a little bit. See what I can see. 
So, did I... So there's that sun symbol. Hmm. Yeah, and there's the moon symbol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have the lantern. How do I use it? Ah! Uh, hold on. Let me look that up. There we go. It's the F key. Did they tell me that? I don't know if they told me that. Okay. Okay. So, E to use. All right, all right. Okay. So, I'm going to guess that goes... Well, it may not go anywhere. But, yeah, it has activated that... Uh, what you call it? Okay, this person's just praying. All right. So now... And go over here. Ah! No, I missed! Ah! No! No! no. <laughs> Man, I would flunk bird school, wouldn't I? Okay. Wait, birds don't move in schools, they move in flocks. So... Would you call... An educational facility for birds? A school or a flock? I don't know. But I do know that these levitating runes are now active. So the uh, very solid part of the waterfall is now passable. So let's go and check that out. I keep pressing shift to speed up instead of... Uh, uh, what you call? Oh, hey, people runes. Up there, we will lay her to rest in the, that tower. Okay, so somebody, somebody died here. Now I remember there was a rune up here, wasn't there? No, no, there wasn't. Okay. All right, I want to be here, right? Yes. All right, let's go into this, uh, whatever this is. All right, hmm. The vault. Okay, looks like more things to activate. Let's take out the lantern. In case there's any hidden stuff that we can do with illuminating. Okay. This symbol again. Power up. Uh, okay, so this looks like a combination lock. I'm going to assume that we need to match the symbols outside. So, like so. Yep, that was easy, okay. Maybe I don't suck quite as much as pu at puzzles as I thought I did. Uh, oh. Is that, no, that's not the, that's not a hint, okay. All right. This, however, is a blatant hit. What's the point of uh, having a combination lock if you write the combination on the floor in front of the door you were um, uh, locking? That's a key? Must be some door. Okay. So now I can unlock something. Also, I can't transform into a bird in here. That's too bad. I, and again, considering how badly I perform in the open sky, I'd probably be pretty terrible in here. All right, but first puzzle solved. 
So let's go back to those tiny islands. And, oh, hello. Are you a spirit animal? Hello, little wanderer. You took your time. Perhaps you were, you were perhaps led us, were you perhaps led astray? Or just followed by the slow one? The slow one. I think, oh yes, Medvin, not Marvin. <laughs> I think his name is Medvin. Slow as few shifters I have met, but sharp, intelligent. Do you know what it is you found? You hold both light and key to lead you into the twilight. Both dusk and dawn, I believe. Southwest of here is a temple, the silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now, bird faster than method. <laughs> Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. Okay, thank you. I wish I had a journal, because there's, no, there's no way I'm going to keep be able to keep track of all this in my head. I can't even remember for sure if there was something northwest of the... Uh, uh, what you call it? The, um, lighthouse they wanted me to visit. Alright. However, I'm going to go that way anyway. So, let's hop a ride on this, uh, wind stream. <laughs> okay, so they're just little boosts, I guess. Are we going the right way? There, there we go. That's where we want to go. So I believe there was something here. I like how the game devs used uh, clouds to um, give this place form. Ah, that's probably our destination, but... Twilight Lake. A floating lake. That's a odd, sort of an odd thing. Okay. Uh, you look like you have something to do with the sun. So, read this. My brother stayed to guard the lighthouse. I volunteered to join him in his duty. I shall guard the land and its animals, even if I do not understand why the priestess wants us to stand guard. Are the gods truly sleeping in this land, and are we to guard them? But why then are they asleep? Can gods even sleep? I think this is just a story for children. The gods are long gone from our world, and their lands now belong to the spirits and the animals. But names stay longer than a memory of a face. Okay. Hmm. I'm betting I'm going to meet some of these animals. Oh, yeah, there was a rune over here. F. So a person. Right? I don't think they have any power left. Uh, hmm. Interesting. So... Are these... So these, that one... These are not mirror images. Like, look at the paws. Are these some sort of golem? Huh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's continue to Twilight Lake. Which is over there. Actually, it looks like there's something over there we should probably check out first. Uh... Oh, hey, a rune. No, not a rune. A sheep. So does this... Why do you always follow me? What's so exciting about me? And why are these rocks just coming up and stabbing random animals? Cairn. Uh, crane. Over there. Ah, that is definitely a rune, however. F to Lantern. Looks like an old campsite over there. I wonder if something interesting has been left behind. Okay. Are you pointing over to that island, I guess? Okay. First, let's take a look in <laughs> this direction. Yeah, there's definitely a building up here. And runes. Load cranes. Can I use lanterns on cranes? Apparently not. OK. 
Okay. That self-proclaimed God reaches too far. I hope he stretches himself too thin. Hmm. So, apparently I can see their skeletons. Hmm. No, don't follow me. Anything interesting about this thing? Eh, it doesn't look like it's just a ruined wall. That, however, is a marking over there. Okay, but first, let's see if there's anything on top of this. No. Okay. So... Down here, I suppose. Anything I can do with a lantern on this? Nah, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So... Campsite... You know, there's a bridge to... Yeah, might as well check out the bridge. No rush to advance the main story. Okay. A bridge... With holes in the center. Presumably, this was much more useful once upon a time before it was floating in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Fish graffiti. Uh. No, can't activate that. Okay. Ah, dry riverbed. Yeah, this used to be a riverbed. And there are people here. Well, there were people here once upon a time. The river has fallen. What are the spirit fish? Is she safe? I'm going to guess that she's in the, uh, what was that? The Sunset Lake? Twilight Lake? I don't know. So, ooh, flowers. Lovely. Hmm. Ah, that'll be the campsite they mentioned. I almost missed that. Of course, I almost missed most things in this game. Almost missed or actually do miss. I am not a graceful bird. Hello, butterflies. Hmm. Ah. I am Yulhal of the Southern Isles. This is the third, my third and final record of my travels in the land of the gods. I happened upon the fox just as I was about to leave for home. He sat in the middle of the road and seemed to laugh silently, as if to some hidden joke. I spoke in anger. My people are dying. Why is this happening? His smile seemed sad. The darkness within called to the darkness without. Heal your people to be healed. This is not your path, Yohal. Heal your people to be healed. I did not know what to say and stared at him as he left. Later, I realized that he was right. It was not my path, but one for my whole people. As I passed the Twilight Lake, I met with Kara for the first time. She showed me the Eventide Sanctuary and asked me to gather everyone I knew. This is, the, uh, this is the refuge we had hoped for. I will journey home again, and I will guide my people here. And I will see my only child, Rhea, again. And I will bring her hope. I may have to start keeping notes. Okay. Here we are at the lake. Okay, so definitely sun and moon symbols. Ah, that looks like the key we got from before. So I'm guessing that it's good that we went where we did. So, people, 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 people. Now open the temple, let's look around a bit first. Children, who apparently, um, she wants to hold back a bit. Okay, so half sun, half moon. Hmm. 
Ah, but, but. The runes on the ground are inverted from the runes on the pillar. Interesting. So, combination perhaps, or just a ref, just a way of completing the circle while um, displaying a certain duality of the sun and moon, even though they're not really, they're not remotely the same class of uh, objects in reality. Those trees are probably very happy to finally have some light. Alright. Down we go. Down many steps, many steps at a time. Oh. Okay. I'll have a loading screen. Alright. Sounds like our lantern is needed. We made it to the Eventide Sanctuary. We will be safe here. That, presumably, is Kara. Okay. So she is not a uh, Kitsui. Hmm. Okay. Okay, why couldn't I have just flown in through that hole? Also... Why is that pillar and that chunk of ceiling floating? Cool. Then again, why are any of these places floating? Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So this was knocked over when people were here. Pilgrims? Perhaps. Ah, I missed. Do, do, do. Birds. <laughs> These birds do not care that I'm here. Yep, and over and up. Okay. Read this. The Twilight Guardian opened her eyes at the light of the sun and moon, shining together. Okay, so I'm guessing the, the two sun and moon symbols represent the Twilight Guardian? She sat down and calmly took both, her, uh, both in her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky so that people may dream at all. She is the heartbeat of the seasons at the center of the world. She, uh, the breath of life and order. Okay. The Twilight Guardian. And again, the duality of that symbol there. Is that her banner? Huh, this is a different symbol. Ah, the banner completes the, uh, the, uh, the vertical image. Okay, okay, so I can see that little, uh, uh, what you call it there. So that's, so this is the sun and moon image, but this is not. This is different. Huh. Okay. More runes up ahead. More fish. Hmm. 
see. There was a rune up here, wasn't there? Yep. There he is. Or she, I can't tell. Just gazing onward, I guess. Hmm. So, a dance. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. I feel like that broke the meter. Man is lost, annoyingly in danger, in his own, to his own mind, always a stranger. I have no idea what the meter was on that. Okay. Hmm. So this goes... Okay, this is going to be uh, kind of a big place then. Okay. And you. Just pointing. Hmm. Okay. Ah. Uh, huh. Okay. So... The qu is this painted? Or, ah, okay, okay. This is, uh, it's light coming through. How is that making this shadow? Weird. Okay, remember that symbol. It looks like it might be important later. Dude, can I fly in here? Nope. There is no flight in the dungeons. Well, I guess this is hardly a dungeon, but still. Do -do. All right, let's start by going this way. Yeah, this place is big. Okay, what's up here? Ah. An altar. Is that Kar I think that represents Kara. So I'm guessing this is where she died. I am Kara of the Thunder Islands. I had a strange dream that I will record here so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I had come to study the holy carvings of the lighthouse in the land of the gods, trying to understand our heritage. As I reached out to touch some of the runes, it suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes, and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. In my dream, it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up to the starry sky. Far away on these steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. The god spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men, so the darkness without and within, or however um, the, uh, the fox uh, said that in um, Yarif, was it? Yarif's journal? As she showed it to me, I felt it stir and come between us, darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out at the pull of this dark void, and I woke. I could not speak for three days, but I sat out to the ancient temples immediately. If what I have seen is true, the gods are alive, and they need our help, as we needed theirs. Okay. So, this may not be a gravestone. This may be an altar to where... Kara slept. Okay. Don't see a way to get over there. And I'm at 35 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. And if you didn't, please let me know why. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!